Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Fetless Faction Village Servers, Atlas, Mutated Jurassic Outbreak Servers, One Original Daisy Servers, Dust Vanilla Servers, Sheriff Line, Apocalypse Now Server, Summer Kraut, Sergeant Pepper's Daisy Invasion Server, and PGZ Servers for making this video possible. Daisy 1.22 has split all armor pieces into five different tiers and has significantly buffed but mostly nerfed all armor pieces against melee attacks. So in this video we're going to look over all of the changes to armor this patch, demonstrate how our armor gets destroyed three times faster now, and explain how it's possible to achieve bleed immunity for the first time ever in Daisy. After a lot of testing against player and infected melee attacks, it's extremely obvious that there were some major changes to how quickly gear becomes ruined in this patch, to the point where it would be very noticeable by players that don't even know about these changes. This increase in durability damage stands at around 3 times at a minimum compared to what it was last patch, but only applies to damage coming from AI or infected attacks. The amount of durability a player's melee attacks drain from another player's clothing or armor is exactly the same as it was last patch, even though the numbers here are different, they're only different because the health protection stat was changed on these items. This means that this health protection stat not only reduces how much health damage we take, but it also reduces the durability damage our gear takes by the same amount that it protects us too, which is a case for clothing and armor. The damage engine treats all items we equip exactly the same. Health damage dealt to a player is equal to the durability damage that that item will receive. This is also the case when it comes to melee attacks from infected AI, but in this patch, infected damage the durability of your gear roughly three times faster than it was last patch, which again applies to all clothing and armor that an infected can hit. For the most part, your chest, vest, back and leg slot items are most at risk when it comes to infected durability damage, as these are the areas that the infected hit the most. Even while crouching or going prone, these are the areas they're going to hit the most. Now because infected switch attacks and hit different body parts sometimes, it's difficult to know exactly how much durability damage was increased this patch, but from this test I took 200 hits from an infected in 1.21 and 1.22. In 1.21, my chainmail chest and legs went to worn after 200 hits from an infected, with my backpack going to badly damaged. However, in 1.22, the chainmail top was completely ruined in just 78 hits, so we didn't even get to 200, with the plate carry vest almost being completely ruined after 200 hits, which FYI remained pristine in the 1.21 test after 200 hits from an infected. In this example, the chest, vest, back and leg slot items took way more than 3 times the damage as you can see, which is a combination of the buffs that infected got to their damage this update and the nerfs that the chainmail top and leggings got too. Against normal clothing it's roughly three times the damage compared to last patch so for example the gear that you spawn with the t-shirt it takes 15 hits now before it gets ruined which is much faster so at a minimum infected destroy our gear at least three times faster on average. Like many weapons and clothing, armor tiers have been added to DayZ and armor has also seen significant nerfs like these, amplifying the durability damage our gear takes even more than the three times I'm estimating due to how health protection nerfs translate to durability protection nerfs too. In tier 1 armor we have civilian helmets that have seen a big buff to how much they can protect us from melee health damage, but everywhere else as you can see have seen a nerf, so KOing a player with tier 1 headwear will now be easier, 40% easier, and the blood protection has been reduced so you no longer get bleed immunity with these helmets, you have a 50% chance to cause bleeding now. In tier 2 are the vests that protect us from melee attacks but not ballistic and explosive attacks. Remember that this is only for melee attacks. The buffs are huge on the hunting and tactical vest though, which last patch didn't offer any protection for melee attacks. So in this patch they've seen major protection buffs when it comes to melee protection, where the tactical vest has been slightly nerfed. The bleed chance is the biggest buff here because sharp weapons in the last patch would normally cause a bleed every single hit, but it's only 25% chance on all of these tier 2s. Tier 3 includes headgear that offers a moderate amount of head protection such as a chainmail coif, dirt bike helmet and the pilot helmet. All of these have seen a nerf with the coif getting the biggest nerf as you can see here and all three of these used to protect us from bleeds 100% but now there is a 12% chance to get a bleed. Tier 4 contains helmets again that offer good protection giving us increased health and shock damage protection compared to the stats of tier 3. Onto the final tier, tier 5, with tier 5 armor being the only armor in Daisy that is bleed resistant, so no matter the melee weapon used or the infected that you get hit by, there is absolutely no chance for you to bleed on any body part that you attach one of these pieces of armor to. In the last patch, the chainmail top and leggings had a roughly 3% chance to give you a bleed against an infected, which I'm guessing was a bug in the code for blood protection as this was fixed this patch with the new and improved bleed chance formula script that we got. 
While Bleed Immunity is a nice buff on Chainmail Gear, it saw some of the biggest nerfs in this patch, allowing 20% extra shock damage per hit and 38% extra health damage, with both of these offering the exact same protection, so the Chainmail Top and the Leggings are pretty much the same, which is a lot less than Plate Carrier Vest, Ballistic Vest and the Chest Plate Vest slot armor that we've got in the game. The chest plate vest that we got last patch offered no shock protection against melee attacks but now it blocks 75% of all shock damage from melee attacks. The police vest also got a great buff to melee protection too, 45% shock protection is really good for an item that you can find near the coast. And finally the helmets that are found in tier 5 are the assault helmet, the tactical helmet, great helm and the motorbike helmet with the motorbike helmet easily being the most buffed item in 1.22. Now these armor tiers, like clothing tiers, are not set in stone and I only covered how the melee damage has changed on these armor pieces too. How much the protection from bolts, bullets and explosives remains exactly the same as it was last patch. This is also the case for the new clothing tiers that I went over in this video which also relates to my melee weapon video and AI changes video this patch, making 1.22 a patch that has changed how melee weapon damage will work forever and also how bleeds work too. For example, now that the chainmail top and leggings provide 100% protection to bleeds from infected, you can now stop taking bleeds entirely from infected when you're wearing just these two pieces of clothing as these two areas are the only areas that infected will hit you and also the most likely place that a player will hit you too. Finally for this video, every month on Xbox, the Apocalypse Now server gives away up to $1,000 in cash prizes with this month's main event being the Hunter's Challenge. For more details on how you can try and win that, join the Apocalypse Now server on Xbox or join their Discord using the link below. Let me know your take on the changes to armor in this patch. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.